Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Season 7, Episode 6, Treachery, Faith, and the Great River. So this was a really good episode. It kind of, we get a little bit more view of the Vorta. So we see, it starts out with a really cool scene where Odo is giving Kira a back massage, but it's just kind of like this puddle. And I can only imagine, like, it feels like a bunch of fingers all at once, which could go in any, any direction that you guys want to take it, doesn't matter. But it's kind of a nice scene. So Odo gets called away because he has to do a secret meeting with one of his like informants who's a Cardassian. And when he gets there, it's actually Wei Yun. And Wei Yun has decided to defect. He is deciding to give up on the Dominion, go with Odo, and basically just give up all of his secrets. Now, while Wei Yun and Odo are traveling back to the station, uh, another Wei Yun comes over the comm, and it turns out that the Wei Yun we all know and love uh, which was Wei Yun 5, actually died like a month ago in this mysterious transporter accident. The Wei Yun that's defecting is number 6, and the Wei Yun with Durham is actually number 7. And so they say that number 6 has something wrong with him, which is why he's trying to defect. And during their journey in the runabout, they keep talking about or like how he, how Odo is a god and he'll do anything to please Odo. And it's really kind of interesting to watch like his, his affection for the character. And there's some funny scenes where he's like trying all the different foods in the replicator. Uh, by the time we get to the end, Wei Yun 7 has basically agreed with the Cardassians that Odo needs to die. And they decide to blow up the runabout. And Wei Yun 6 and Odo are like, why are they, why are the Jem Hadar firing? on us and it's like oh because they don't know that Odo is there and the female changeling the shows up and is it turns out that she's actually kind of sick like she's almost drying out and uh the Cardassians comment on it and she like fixes herself right away but Wei Yun 6 even tells Odo like he's pretty sure the changelings are the, are sick the founders are sick and it's probably the same disease that Odo had earlier in the series so by the time we get to the end of the episode, unfortunately, Six does decide to like give in and kill himself. And it's kind of sad because I would have liked to have seen Jeffrey Combs almost continue like as a good Wei Yoon and just do a dual role as like Wei Yoon Six is good, Wei Yoon Seven is evil. And now he has to play both of them. Because to be honest with you, between him playing Wei Yoon and Brunt, I feel like Jeffrey Combs should have just been like in the main cast list at this point, not just a guest star. But that's just me. Now, all of this is super, like, major taking up most of the episode. The subplot, in my opinion, is actually just as equal. Like, it's not really an A and a B plot. It's more of like a 50-50, where we see O'Brien, and he's trying to get a piece for the station, and Nog is like, I can help you with this, but you have to give me your access code, because, uh... Cisco wants the Defiant like up and running in this insane amount of time and O'Brien's like I can't do that and Nog is like I can do this and it goes back to the previous two episodes the card episode and like the second episode of the series where he and Jake keep exchanging things this thing for that thing for that thing for that thing trying to make everybody happy. And we see that where Nog is just the master of doing this, where, like, for example, he takes all of Martok's blood wine, but then he gets it back for him. And at one point they go in and uh, Cisco's desk is missing. And they're like, where did it go? Oh, well, this guy who has the piece we need loves to take pictures at famous people's desks. Like, he has it with this admiral and that person. He's taking a picture with Picard's desk, which I think that's the first time Picard has been mentioned by name since the first episode. And, of course, Cisco gets his desk back just in the nick of time it even says like Nog was polishing it that's awesome and it's kind of funny but by the time we get to the end everything works itself out so I really like the 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 first plot where we see Odo and Wei Yun kind of connecting I thought that was a great like plot for the episode and the subplot worked really well with Chief O'Brien and Nog I think the the two the two of these plots really bounced off of each other really well and I, I enjoyed this episode I thought it was really good for those who have seen this one, which storyline did you like most and which did you find the most engaging? What would you have thought of Jeffrey Combs being like a main character and playing two Wei Yoon's, especially if there was a good Wei Yoon? Go ahead, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for everything and I will see you guys next time for once more on To The Breach.